Two families from opposite ends of the wealth divide. <laughs> I think we're quite traditional here. Yeah. Money does affect family life. I'd like to do more. Are trading places for seven days. Is this a whole house? <laughs> to see if we can find it. To find out whether money really does buy happiness. That's we can certainly tell when the trains come in. Here we are. The Blakes from Adelston and the Emmots from Epsom have just found out where they're going to be living for the next seven days. Now to find out how much money they'll have to live on. Wow. Ooh, that's a one. <laughs> Count it out for us. Coins. Right, OK. Five, another hundred. <gasps> 30, 40, 50, yeah. 60. 1,000, 1,010. 70, 80, 90. 1,354 pounds and six pence. <laughs> oh, God. 124. 81. Let's be clear, it's very yeah. tight. It's this tight. Is tight isn't it? Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> While dinner cooks, Julia fills Richard in on what she's discovered about Nikki. Yeah, it's a really sad, sad story. She's come back here, she's starting again, completely on her own. Yes. I don't know much about Rotan and the Honduran Islands, I don't know. Um, but I got, a, I got a big impression from Chrissy that they're quite dangerous. She just fled, she just took them. As you do, you know, you get your babies and go. Taking her children to safety meant leaving their father behind. And it took a family tragedy to fund the flights home. Her grandfather um, passed away and left some money. And the only way they could get them back was by using all that money to get them on the airplane. E everything that he left um, to get all three of them back and with her. Poor you. It's uh, not quite what we expected, although we knew something was amiss. Yes. That afternoon in Epsom, the children are back from school, but the learning's not over. Emmott's budget includes the cost of their children's education and Lucas's regular music lessons. So, Mia's warming up for some vocal coaching. Ah, uh, it brought to smile. I loved it. Do you know what? It's these little experiences that uh, make me think, do you know what? That's really awesome money well spent. <laughs> oh, that made my heart melt. <laughs> Uh, Pablo, uh, um, España, España. In Adelston, it's Spanish night. I see. I see, okay. Only problem is, Oscar and Richard don't speak Spanish. You're having Spanish night? Yeah, I know, right? I have to speak in Spanish, and I don't know any Spanish. Quebola was um, ham, I think, maybe. Um, it doesn't. Set uh, pimente. Here. I go for me on to us. Uh, we're getting peppers. I don't think there are any peppers here. No, you don't no. think we've got a fresh vegetable. Yeah, that's what I thought. Spanish night is a regular event for the Blakes. Nikki wants the children to stay fluent in their first language. Esto comidas es bueno. Es bueno? This food is good. Good, thank you. Very good. My dad was on the other side of the world and couldn't get over to me. It'd be awful. I feel really sympathetic to them for all they've been through. It's terrible. I don't, I wouldn't want anyone to be through that kind of pain. It's Thursday, and Richard's conducting further inquiries into Nikki's husband, Scott's, unsuccessful visa application. Oh, hello, hello Richard. Hello. I'm nice Vesna. Pleased to meet you, yeah. He's arranged to meet immigration lawyer Vesna Collins. I'm originally from Serbia, and I came to England when it was former Yugoslavia as a migrant with visa. There was visa requirements for me. So for me, this is not only about law, it's about creating life opportunities for people. The difficulties that Scott will face are 
costs. Visa application is 1,532 U in the UK pounds. On the top of that, he will have to pay for his English test. Yes and national health surcharge. So if you add up all the costs that he will have mm. without engaging immigration lawyers or solicitors, yes. it's quite significant. Mm. And I think that is the problem for the most families who are on a low income. But it's not just the costs of the application. Couples must have a minimum income of £18,600 to get a spouse visa. Tossing it all up, all these different things, it's roughly sort of £4,300 just to get it started again, you know, it's very sad. A father has every right to see their children, so you know, we'd like to give them the opportunity or at least explore that opportunity to see if they can get them together again. According to the Children's Commissioner for England, in 2017, there were at least 15,000 children growing up without a parent in another country because their visa application had been denied. We're talking about serious expense for anyone, um, but obviously uh, considerable if not insurmountable, expense for the key. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. I've heard so much about you. I'm sorry, I keep doing this. No. My name's Richard. So this is weird. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit weird. With the introductions out of the way, it's time for some fun. With the kids on the course, the adults have a chance to catch up. Have you enjoyed it? I have. Have you? I've really enjoyed it. Me too. It. <laughs> I spent more time with my children this week. So thank you for thank you for that. Is it okay if I talk about Scott? Sure. Such a tough time. At the time, I thought my husband would be here soon, and we're all gonna live happily ever after. And then you get the letter, and it just has denied at the top. Um, and, you know, money was just the deciding factor. I hated myself for not having enough, and that's cost my children their dad. It's, it's, it's not your fault. It's, it's, it's not your fault at all. You mustn't feel like that. I mean, it, it, it's, so, it's so easy to in many ways to be in that situation is how do we see through it you know if you genuinely want to try and get him back um, how do we do that i mean for scott and i the relationship is over there's there's no coming back from any of this um i'll always always love him because he's always going to be their dad you still deserve to find somebody else. I'd really love to meet somebody new. I just want someone else you to deserve. do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, using your dishwasher has been lovely. Yeah, I know, sure is. <laughs> Who won? Who won? Who won? And after a round of golf, there's the 19th hole. You've been living in my home and it's it's quite a big step down. But essentially, it's, it's quite similar. There are lots of similarities as well. Our values of, about what we want out of life and how we love our family are really just the same. We're not so different, are we? <laughs> I don't think so. No. I think we've learned about each other through our friends. Yes. Yeah. But I'd like to learn about you. Yes. Together. Yes. Yeah. With ourselves. I, I would absolutely love that. Really would. <laughs> <laughs> the swap's almost over, but the families are still very much in each other's thoughts. It was really fun meeting the family for the first time. Really want to meet them again. Amazing that we've met the Blakes, Nikki and Mia and JJ. I did feel a connection with Nikki. Oh, we are living different lives. But there's a lot of common ground. It's been an absolutely manic, magical day. It's been staying in the house and, and then meeting them. Um, and actually, <laughs> she was just like me. She works hard. She um, wants the best for her children. And she does everything she can. Um, that's me.